Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Black Mesa. We're in Chapter 2 right now, which is Anomalous Materials, and we're just heading down the elevator from the last- Oh, that's why we're jumping right back in, in the same spot, pretty much, and... Just continuing through, and... Did you catch that last fluctuation? Oh, guys. It's nothing to worry about. You sure? They need you in the test chamber. Alright, sounds good. I'll head over there. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. Uh, How curious. The acousto optic modulators are part on the of fritz again. There. <laughs> I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. But you can walk through each other, that's kind of cool. Sure, it was a mistake. What's up, Doc? Are you thinking Hello, what sir. I'm thinking? That's impossible. No, it's not. That's impossible for two people to think the same thing. Seriously? It happens all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Just a minute, Gordon. Okay, I'll be back later. I think. Hello, Gordon Freeman. Hello. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Are you sure that's Bit of safe? a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator uh... is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. You're really sure that's safe? Eli has been okay, busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. Hello. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes... They're a bit strange to just... Oh! oh. It's about to go uh. critical! What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? It was never meant to do this in the first place. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Alright, good luck fixing this, guys. Um, you may need this. And this. I'll bring it over to you guys. Hmm. This could take a bit longer than I anticipated. You sure you guys don't need any help? You're really sure? Go on, Gordon. We'll take it from here. Okay. I guess I'm going. Have fun up there. By Becquerel's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. It is. Uh oh. I don't know about this. You know, this is hopping off. We'll be laughing about this whilst sipping champagne and resting on our laurels. Okay. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Sorry, buddy. Though, I mean, even right here you can tell this is definitely a new model made for this version of the game. Because I did play the mod version, and I can tell you this definitely looked nothing like this 
the last one, so definitely did a lot of work. Same with the suit startup sequence, that was pretty cool. I'm too. rather looking forward to this analysis, aren't you? Uh, I'm not sure. Mm, They're no. doing something weird with the spectrometer. We can talk later, Gordon. Oh, okay. I guess you don't give a crap about my opinion. Hello, oh, sir. there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. All right, dude. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing <clears throat> will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Here's the narrator from Stanley Parable. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Once this is all over, you can slip out of that HEV and get back to the real work. Paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm delaying this, because I don't want to do the paperwork, dude. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? Yeah, I just don't want He's to do just paperwork. savoring the moment. One day, he'll look back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. There's <laughs> no need for performance anxiety, <laughs> Dr. Freeman. Of course not. Oh. You're a seasoned pro by now. You're just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. Okay, fine. Gonna close those doors. Okay, I thought you did. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. Yeah, I hear ya. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. All right, sounds good. I can see you guys through this little monitor here. There you go. Very good. We'll take it from here. Alright, sounds good, guys. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase rays. Right, by the way, this machine right now that is actually activating now. on the game itself. Uh, that is Gordon, not something we cannot on predict the how long the system can operate at this level. Well. Nor how long the reading will take. But please work as quickly as you can. Uh, you Overhead sure about that, buddy? So I think it can extend for a really long time. Uh, how much? Five dollars? Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in. Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Okay, I'm looking. There's nothing there yet. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Uh, okay. Go ahead, Gordon. 
slot the carrier into the analysis port. I'm scared. Are you sure this is a good idea? Are you really? Are you sure? What you is he your doing in there? It's nothing you need to worry about. Uh, go ahead, Gordon. Uh, something seems wrong about this to me. Oh, what is it? Is shut down from in here? Come on, please. No, 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 no. No shutting down. Crap. You guys, sh oh, what's that thing? What are those? going? What just happened? Galalong. Long. Uh, for the sequence? Who's the voice? The narrator from Stanley Parable. Oh, whoa. Oh, now this is cool. Um, I guess I better be. Where are you guys? I'll go see if I can get some help from you guys. Oh! Crap! Listen, I, I tried to warn them. I, I never see. thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. Gordon, thank I God don't for that know how, but... All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. You need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. I no will tell try my what best. Kind of danger is <laughs> My God, what have we done? What is that thing? Fascinating. Would you look at that? We can't afford to waste time. They need me for the retro scan. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? All right, sounds good. But I want to know what this thing is. What do you say we call him? Should we give him a name? What an interesting anterior. I wonder where its stomach is. Hello? I Ooh, you certainly want out, don't talk you? talk to you. My, you're a cute little thing, aren't you? I'd almost hate to have to dissect one of these. I don't think it's going to let you do anything to it, but... Where'd he go? Oh, 
go. Oh, you came back. to find some place safe for Isaac, so I can go find my family. Right, good luck, buddy. I'll see you soon, hopefully. Oh! Get back over here! Run! 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 You run! No! No! Oh sh! How do I get in? I don't have it. Oh no! Science team uniform. I have no idea. Yeah, we might live longer if we work together. Well, duh. Of we'll live longer. Oh, if there's one of those things, can you shoot it, dude? Aim for that head thing. I don't have anything to aim. Like that? Another one of them in there, but he's not gonna get to us. So. Okay, you can shoot anyways. Guys on fire, maybe this flare will help us a little bit. Things? Oh, dude, look at this. They burned in the fire. Where'd you go? Still back here. You think there's a cold beer for us at the end of all this? I sure hope so. Okay, let's go for it. Jesus, this place is in bad shape. Oh yeah. Go around the fire, dude. Don't want to go. Oh, <coughs> ow. Let me get out of your way, Doc. Okay, you can get through this site a little bit easier. This shit is We're something good. out of a sci-fi movie. Oh, I know, right? 
Here, let me get out of your way. Actually, let's go over here and take care of self health first. Oh. These things are like zombies or something. I think they are. <laughs> head crab. Let's cook the head crab. My bad, Doc. You just cooked head crap. The head crap setting on the thing. Anybody in here? Okay, Doc. Grab what you gotta grab, but don't dawdle. I know. Oh! Zombie so fight on the toilet. Let me get out of your way here. Nope, neither one of them recharged at all. Oh! Game! Please! Well, you get points for trying. Hey, found some ammo! Hey, if you need any extra ammo, I got some for ya. Come on, get out here. All right, I'm you scout on up ahead. No, come with me. Okay, I'll cover you. Okay, we got more of these guys. I'm gonna need help Take again. Cover! Somewhere. Oops. Sorry. Try this way. That way's blocked off. Oh! That's right. Job time's over. You asked for it! Okay, come on. Got one more guy up here. Oh, two guys. Nice in my trophy room. Uh, I know that. Okay, I'll wait here and help anybody else who comes by. Okay, I'm gonna try to call for help. You gotta get to the admin office upstairs. There's got to be somebody there who can fix this. I sure hope so, buddy. Come in, anybody. This is Sector C Anomalous Materials. We have an emergency situation here. I repeat, we have a code red emergency situation here. Possible biocontaminations. Possible? A little more than possible. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody out there? Oh! Hi! Oh! I guess I'll head this way because there the tram's out. Die! Die! Yes! Yes! 
Come on, take this, buddy. Take it. Oh. That's what is going on. Well, make sure you don't kill anybody else, I guess. Alright. So, anyway, did the level transition this time before we ended the level and the episode? So that way, when we come back next time, you don't have to wait through the loading screen five seconds in the episode. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more of Black Mesa. Bye!